Hello there, and welcome to another of Andre's artist profiles. Now, you know, believe it or not, I had to do a little bit of soul searching about this one. Um, my opinion of Sting as an artist and as a person is not only interrelated, but it's kind of torn. On the one hand, I usually end up absolutely falling in love with something musically this guy does. On the other hand, his personality and ego structure, sometimes it just is as overbearing as, as Bono. You know, I always champion an artist who themselves champion causes, but it depends on where it's focused. And so much of what Sting does seem to be, seems to be focused on getting attention for himself. And I know a lot of people who work in the music industry have their own personal issues with Sting. But anyway, uh, this is not about the man or his assumed or perceived personality but this is about his music. Now, when I was growing up, one of the kind of pop albums that I loved was this one from 1985, Dream of the Blue Turtles. It's a pity the police had to more or less break up for him to record this album, so the story goes. But bringing Kenny Kirkland and Branford Marcellus in for this perfect combination of jazz and pop just gave him a huge hit parade of songs. I mean, if you love somebody, set them free. Um, love is the... Seventh Wave, Fortress Around Your Heart. And there's also some other amazing songs on here. Like the title song is a wonderful instrumental. And he even does a song, it's a little bit dated now, that's kind of dirge-like on here, called The Russians. Uh, I hope the Russians love their children too, about the end of the Cold War, perestroika, and the remaining threat of uh, nuclear Armageddon. Uh, one of his best uh, uh, political kind of songs. And... Um, of course, you also have Consider Me Gone on here, which is another amazing um, number that he did. And Shadows in the Rain. It's just an amazing album. Now, then we come to this album. This showcases more Omar Hakim and is more Hispanic-oriented. Now, this album had a ma two major hits in Be Still, My Beating Heart and the really funky We'll Be Together, which features Shaka Khan on backup vocals. There's also some other great cuts on here, like Englishmen in New York, and They Dance Alone, which is about, um, you know, Pinochet. And he does a cover of Hendrix's Little Wing. This album has some jazz elements to it, but it's a little different than the first one, uh, being a double vinyl originally. But it's a great album. All the songs are really good on this one. Now, this album came out in 1990. And this is called The Soul Cages. There's Sting in there. This is a little more indulgent, in a way, because this is a personal record. This is an album that's actually very much about death and dying. I haven't listened to this one in a long time. But I don't think it did much for Sting commercially. So a couple years later, he came out with this album, Ten Sumner's Tale, in 1993. Now, this album had some really big hits on it, like... If I n Never Lose My Faith and, you know, Fields of Gold, which has been, okay, a bit overplayed. But it returns Sting to the commercial fortunes of his first two solo records. And there's a song on here that I really like called, um... Oh, where is it here? Oh... Epilogue, Nothing About Me, where he challenges a lot of rumors about himself uh, as far as how people perceive him, and in a very elegant and very jazzy way. And there's another wonderful composition on here called The Shape of My Heart. I don't know if that was a hit, but it should have been, really. This is a fantastic album. I think the, the last thing album I really loved. Okay, so then in 96... 1995, he came out with this album called Mercury Falling. It's the last thing album I bought. He has a new one out, but, you know, honestly, I don't really care for it. I mean, I haven't really cared much for the last few Sting albums. I mean, it just he's lost a lot of his energy, enthusiasm, and um, he's kind of gone very, you know, blandly on the intellect musically, and has lost his sense of rhythm and jazziness to me. I just don't hear it anymore. And this album... He tried to go for a somewhat, you know, folkier rock, blues kind of sound on this record. It's good, but it, it lost a lot of his jazz influences. But it's always good when an artist 
stretches out. I haven't listened to that in a while, so I'll probably be going back to that. But that's what I've got for Sting, and it's probably what I'm going to be having. I mean, I don't, I'm not totally anti-Sting, but, you know, I think sometimes he gets a little bit indulgent, and his personality I won't comment on necessarily, because I don't know him. I, I really don't. Like he said, I don't know nothing about him. But from what I've heard from people who have worked close to him, and I do know some people who have been close to him, some of it may be true. But anyway, this is Sting, and uh, happy birthday to him. It's his birthday today, and uh, I hope that uh, you all enjoy this video. I'll see you next time.